Are you guys hungry? Oh, there's no. So I have uh, these food. Oh, let me take this off. The food bowls up close here, so that um, so you guys can watch and see um, how they eat. We'll see if we need any kind of special bowls or if they need to be helped to eat. I don't know anything about their severity yet. All right, let me pull the chat. Okay. All right, so we have, I'm told, let me tell a little bit of this. We have a brother and sister, and this girl by herself is actually a girl. So we have two girls. The two girls have speech. The boy does not. Um, they all have upper respiratory infections that they're getting treated for. So, um, we're going to combine these guys in here. They're all on the same medication. And once they're healthy, they can move over to the other, the other room with um, Keegan and Raven. So these guys all came from the same shelter as Keegan did. I don't know why they have this influx of CH cats, but um, but they do, and so they called us because we had such success with you know with Keegan here. So. Um, so we're happy to, oh, I hear purring. So this is the boy. Cindy said they're very friendly. This is the boy that's coming out now. Oh, he's purring. Oh, you are handsome. So they're about three months old. Oh, right for the food. And then the girl is a calico. There she comes. Oh, we see her wobbling. Come on now. Let's see how you do. Oh, very much like Keegan. Here. About the same severity as Keegan is. Yep. About the same. Whew. She's messy. little one. Oh, they're so cute. She does pretty well with eating so far. That looks pretty good. So she might she, she looks to be um, smaller than her brother. So she might do well with some lap feeding as well, but she's doing pretty well. Get her head in there. Now 
Now the third kitten here is only about two months old. She came in with her mom, who um, is normal, who doesn't have CH. Um, and so her mom will stay at the shelter, she'll get spayed and adopted out. And, um, and we'll take care of the kitten here. She uh, is more shy, so I'm not sure how friendly she's going to be or if she's going to try to hide at first. So we have the neurotypical boy, the one without CH is over here. And then we have the one with CH is the calico here. So we would call him a tabby and white kitten. He's purring. I don't know if you guys can hear the whole time he's eating. Can you hear him? Very friendly. the other little girl. Okay. She's coming up to the front of the cage a little bit more. I just wanted to let her settle for a little bit since she's more nervous before I reached in to grab her. She's very wobbly in there. Oh, and yeah, growls. Oops. Oh, that's these two. Oh, growling over the food. <laughs> oh, she's doing very well eating. So we have, uh, I'm going to leave their food up front um, again so that you guys can watch and I can watch to make sure that they are eating okay. Uh, we'll see how they do with the bathroom. Um, looking at her needing a bath, it seems like maybe she doesn't do great in the litter box. Maybe topples over a lot, so we'll see. Um, if we need to get any kind of modification, we'll see how she does. Yeah, sitting to eat, but if... If Keegan would sit and eat, she, I think she would do just she would do just as fine as this girl. See, when she tries to stand, she's just like Keegan; she falls over. But if she sits, Keegan would do so much better if she sat and ate. But she just hasn't figured that out yet. <laughs> he's growling as he's eating. I bet these guys are gonna be chiru sharks. So if, um, if you haven't been following Keegan next door, Keegan also has CH. She's about the same age and size as these guys. Came from the same shelter. Um, CH is a neurological condition where uh, the cerebellum has not fully developed or has developed incorrectly. And it causes a kitten to be unstable and unbalanced. They fall over a lot. They might have tremors. And um, there's very varying um, severities of it. So you can have a kitten on the mild end that has just minor tremors. Um, minor balance issues, 
might be able to get up and down the stairs just fine, uh, eat just fine, use litter box, you know, and that's on one end. You have the other end of the severity, which would be severe CH, and that's a kitten that really can't move much at all. It needs to be picked up and carried places, needs to be hand fed. And of course, most kittens fall somewhere on a continuum in between. And um, I would say looking at her right now, she's, she seems to be in the moderate category, which is what Keegan is. She seems, um, we'll see more as she walks around, but just with her walking out of her carrier, it seems like she does pretty consistently fall over. There's the other kitten at the door. I'll let her out soon. She seems to be getting curious. She does pretty consistently fall over. But uh, it looks like she's able to eat okay. Hopefully she'll be able to get into the litter box okay. CH is not curable. There's no treatment for it. It's a lifelong condition that these that these cats will always have. It won't get any worse than how they are now. It's not uh, degenerative. It doesn't cause any pain, which is very important because um, when you watch them, it's easy to feel sorry for them. They, you know, keep falling over and it's easy to think that they're suffering in some way, but they absolutely are not. They don't know any other way of living than, you know, getting around and falling over. And, um, and there's nothing painful about their condition and it's not painful for them to just flop over on the ground. So... Um, so they're not suffering in any way. All right. Here we go, Bean. You want to come out? Okay. You want to come out? making her way around. I hear your snuffles. They have upper respiratory infections, which is Like a kitty cold, something that stuffed up noses and snarflies, some runny eyes, but they get meds for that, so we should get that cleared up soon. Oh, she's playing with a toy in the bin. I don't have a name or theme yet. Their names that they came with, I will not be keeping.
No, the the little tuxedo girl has not met these kittens before. So these guys um, have been in a cage for quite a while. Um, I learned about the two siblings about two weeks ago. And um, they've been on a rabies hold at the shelter. So the little calico hasn't had a lot of chance to really, you know, use her muscles. Um, like Keegan has been able to, you know, practice getting around and stuff. So um, this will be a good opportunity for her to Oh I think that's the calico who's purring right now. I don't know. The boy definitely purrs a lot. The, um, this particular shelter, well, I should say there's a, this particular shelter vet, um, places a rabies hold on any kitten or cat that comes in and exhibits neurological symptoms, which includes kittens with CH. Um, so there's a 10 day hold on um, rabies hold kittens, which means that uh, they can't go anywhere. They can't be transferred to a rescue. They can't be fostered. And I've never heard of that before, and I think it's a very, very silly, um, ridiculous thing. I mean, you know, anybody would know, looking at them, that they have CH and not rabies. So, you know, especially as three-month-old kittens, but... Out of my control. can't see right now but the boy is having a lot of fun with a little flamingo toy that I've never seen before it's new all right we're gonna try to pull this girl out so we can assess her Let's see how she does even though you're very comfy we all want to see you Let's 
see what you can do. What are your super abilities? seem like she wants food yet. Oh, there she goes. Growlies. Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh, she can walk. Yeah, there she goes. We got some growly pants here. It's okay. It's all right. So, like I said, um, these kittens. This is the first time that they've met each other, so it's not surprising that we have some growlies and hisses. But they'll they'll all smell like each other soon, and um, that'll they'll be best friends in no time. I guarantee you. They'll just be a little hissy to begin with. I bet um, the Tuxi is very excited probably to have other kittens around. She's She was a solo kitten with her mom. So she hasn't had kittens to play with or nap with. She wasn't hissing or growling at the boy, so I think she's eager to make friends. She seems to be uh, just about on the same severity level as well, I would say. So it looks like we got two moderate CH kids in here. Seems to be able to move around herself. Falls over consistently. But um, <laughs> it could be that he's growling because he has that toy too. He could be playing fiddle. He could be very possessive of that flamingo, which he seems to love. <laughs> and does not want to share. So we will have snugglers coming in to visit these guys. Um, 
Uh, who's the um, 2 p.m. stumbler today? Someone could let me know. They'll start in the playroom, of course, um, since those guys are healthy. And these guys are sick with the URIs. Great. All right. Emily's at two. So um, Emily actually had a CH cat of her own in the past. So, uh, so she's experienced in the ways. So she, I'll have her uh, visit these guys after she's done over there. I think um, in the beginning, I'm going to have the snugglers uh, place the CH kittens in the litter box, you know, just to see if they need help going, um, kind of let them know where it is and we'll have to assess whether they can make it in there on their own. Oh, that little Tuxi is just darling. She's so cute. Look at her hands. She looks so excited. She wants to play. Oh, see, he didn't hiss or growl. They're just sniffing nosy in the nosy. Yeah, he didn't have his toy, so now he's not growling. That was all about his toy and not wanting to share. That'll be fine. fun as long as Flamingo doesn't <laughs> get caught between them. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to do any kind of bath or anything on the calico today. You know, we usually, unless... Unless it's an emergency and they absolutely need it, if they're like crawling with fleas or something, um, we don't, or I don't give them baths on the first day or so that they're here. They just have already been through enough and we want to try to uh, keep them calm and let them settle in. So, um, so if you have any Anybody who makes comments about her needing a bath, you know where to refer them to our hotline. Oh, there she is. Look at these. Oops. Oops. Got a little freaked out. Here okay.
I'm not going to do weights or anything. Um, I'm pretty sure that the three month olds are two pounds. I would not, uh, I would not doubt that. And, um, Oh, look at her go. Little tremors. That's because she got excited. I'd say the tuxie is probably close to two pounds. But not there yet. So let's see what they have for their birthdays in this paperwork. All right, so for the two older ones, wow, they have them. Birthday of September 12th. Yeah, they're three pounds already. The boy is three pounds. The paperwork here. The girl is two point two, almost two and a half pounds. So they have them at three months, 16 days. And then for the little Tuxi, they have her date of birth as October 24th, 1.63 pounds, and that makes her two months, four days. You want the exact poundage, poundages. The boy is 2.96 pounds. The girl is 2.43 pounds. Yeah, I bet they would like wand toys, like Keegan does. All right, I've reached my limit of uh, being able to sit on a floor. I'm going to skedaddle. I'm wondering if I think I want to watch them um, in. as far as it goes. I think I want to try to watch them in the litter box. So 
I'm going to do this for now.